Are we ready? Can we handle it? I don't know why they got rid of that. A graphic designer having a good old time because I spoiled myself with new work tools, okay? <laughs> As many of you may know, today is the new MacBook Pro launch day and I am so, so excited that the timing of the universe all worked out and I was able to snatch up one of these brand new MacBook Pros. I am so excited. This has been such a long time coming and it was quite a fiasco to get to this point, but I'm super, super excited. So we're gonna do a quick unboxing here. I actually have all of my old Macs that we're gonna just reminisce about and then we're gonna take a look at the brand new 16 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip. I'm so pumped. So if we take a trip down memory lane, this guy was my first MacBook. I think I got it in 2008 and it was for design, 2009 maybe? No, 2008 for university. And it was for college. I went to college with this baby. Obviously it's so dirty, it's so old, it doesn't work anymore. But trusty white MacBook, man, even back in the day, my aesthetic was this whole white. We, it was a vibe guys, it was a vibe. The next MacBook we had was this guy here. This is a 2011 MacBook Pro, I believe. In my second year of design school, we were forced to get the, the college standard. And so we got this guy. Looks pretty similar. Um, I actually ended up changing the battery in this laptop because it exploded at one point. The battery that I replaced it with has also since exploded. You can see keys are falling off. This guy doesn't work anymore but this baby got me through college. After college, we moved on to this big bad boy. So this was a gift for my mom as I started my design career. Ignore how messy the screen is. I tried to clean it, I couldn't find the wipe, and then I just wanted to get filming. So judge me all you want in the comments, go for it. This is a 2015 iMac. My sister and my mom were a super sneaky business and it showed up at my work one day for me for Christmas. This baby is still what I use to edit at this point in time. Still runs like a champion. I love it so much. My mom is the best. This is my 2015 iMac. Still kicking, still going. The next one in the lineup is actually where this whole laptop fiasco began. So this is actually a 2019 MacBook that I just got, literally haven't even had it for two weeks yet. Basically the day after it showed up on my doorstep, there was an announcement that there was the new 16 inch MacBooks with the M1 chip and somehow I didn't know that that was a thing. And so this guy is getting returned, <laughs> um, but this is the 2019 one. So I'm returning it casually after the video so we can compare because why not? Also shout out to Apple and their great return policy. Editor Bex here. I just quickly wanted to put a little note in here. I returned the old laptop and I just wanna say that Sabrina at the Apple store, you were an absolute gem to deal with. Thank you so much for making the returning process so easy and for just being so excited that I got my new Mac, thank you. But now of course, the moment we've all been waiting for, this baby, brand new 16 inch, MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip. I don't even have words for how excited I am. I've been working off of my desktop Mac for so long, and I also have a gaming computer that I built out with a friend Nathan. Thanks Nathan, you're the best. I haven't had a laptop for design purposes in so long. I had one for work, but of course I quit my job and I had to give that back. With my new job, I had to bring my own laptop, which was totally cool. I agreed to it, but I needed a laptop, which is why I ordered this one. And then it took so dang long to get here that by the time it arrived, they had announced the brand new ones. And yes, I live under a rock because I don't even know how it completely slid my radar that they'd be announcing new MacBooks. But here we are, we're turning that one, crisis averted, everything worked out just fine. Let's unbox this baby. Oh, it is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's still just a box. But it's so beautiful. Okay, let's dig in. My little tag here didn't work, so so much for that cute shot. We're doing it the old fashioned way. Scissors. It's okay, it will still be good. Look at this baby. Are we ready? Can we handle it? I think we can handle it, let's try. Of course, we've got the book. 
Does anyone actually read these books? I don't know that I read these books. And the plug. This one's a rectangle. Very, very interesting. All right, that's it, that's all. Also, obligatory, can we just appreciate? Like, can we just appreciate? I know everyone loves these, but like package design guys. In another world, I would be a package designer because I just, the way that everything fits and the experience is like a whole thing in and of itself. Beautiful packaging as always, Apple. Knocking it out of the park. First things first, completely unrelated to the Mac. I need a new phone mount to film this. I recently spoiled myself and got myself a new iPhone 13 Pro Max. Yes, I quit my job and I got my vacation payout, so I spoiled myself. It's been a long time coming, also COVID sucks. So if I can't go on trips, I am definitely gonna buy myself some pretty Apple products. <laughs> if anyone has phone uh, mount holder things that are easier to use, please let me know because so far the iPhone 13 is smashing it out of the park. This is my first video I'm filming with it. I am going to finish up my unboxing video for that after I wanted to, I wanted to use the camera a little bit first. Sidetrack, let's get back into the Mac. Of course, you guys, look, they brought it back. Two hours later. That was really hard. We all just need to take a moment. We need to take a moment and appreciate this beautiful thing. They brought it back. It is such a small detail, but my goodness, this is one of my favorite parts about having a Mac and they got rid of it. Oh, I'm so excited. The MagSafe charger is back. Next up, rectangle. Interesting, still chunky. Also, really love that it's all paper. Getting rid of the plastic is like top notch. I miss the days where they used to, let's just ignore how dirty this is. This is like 13, 14 years old, okay? It's old, I'm old, it's fine, it's dirty, it's been used. But I really miss this cord. The fact that you got like an extension cord with the charger, I don't know why they got rid of that, but you know what? Hey, at least we got this back. If we got this back, I'm happy. This is the old Apple plug. This is the new one. So there's definitely a size difference and a shape difference. All right, the paper, the paper is coming off. Am I gonna give you all a heart attack because I'm doing this in my hands? Oh, look at that. That's fancy. Okay, first impressions. I love that it's boxy again. I love that we're getting back to boxy. The iPhone is boxy again. The laptop is boxy again. I like the boxy, it's just so nice. It's not too heavy either. I feel like weight wise, they're about the same. If anything, I would say the new one's lighter. I'm sure I could look up the stats, but we're just going based on my experience, guys. This is, I'm not a tech YouTuber. This is just a graphic designer having a good old time because I spoiled myself with new work tools, okay? <laughs> okay, so it's beautiful. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. This is like the best ever. So I guess first up, let's compare the two most recent ones. Kitty kitty, your paper is making a noise. So if we just take a look, this is the new guy, definitely way boxier. Um, also check out that, oh, so exciting, not over it yet. And then this guy is the model right before it. You can definitely see that it's far more rounded. So if we quickly take a look at the ports, because I know this is one of the most exciting things for me at least, we have the MagSafe port, which is exciting. These are two Thunderbolt ports and we have a headphone jack. And then of course on the other side here, we have the HDMI port, which is great. Don't have to use a dongle anymore. Another Thunderbolt port. And then we have the card reader back. That is super exciting. One of the things I really enjoyed about my iMac is that I could just plug the memory card from my camera right into the back of my Mac. It was super simple. Right now, of course, I'm just gonna airdrop all my video files from my phone to my MacBook, so I'm excited to see how that workflow works out. But it's really nice having the memory card uh, reader back. It's just so handy. I don't, I don't know why they got rid of the practicality. I'm just, I'm so happy it's back. Okay, are we ready? Jeez. 
Jeez. Also, there's nothing like a brand new screen. There's no fingerprints or nothing on that. Hello to you too, MacBook. So right off the bat, it's beautiful. I just, I don't even, I just, I don't even have words. Oh, you guys, this is like, I just, I can't even, I can't even. Definitely read all of these. Okay, so now that the lid's open, let's just take a peek at the keyboard here. So right off the bat, there is no touch bar along the top. We have keys back. What a revolutionary idea to bring the keys back. But of course we still have the touch idea up here, which is really nice. I really like the black keys with the black background. Uh, if we look at the previous version, it's the silver back there. I think this looks really sharp. I, I do like that quite a bit. There's no little MacBook Pro insignia on the front screen, which is uh, just a small detail. Of course, we have the bar here that is no longer. We have keys on this new one. Trackpads look like they're about the same size, so nothing really looks different there. So if we just chat for a minute about this guy. So this is the one that I ordered for my new job that I'm actually returning. I actually thought I built a decently good MacBook with this one. I upgraded the core, I upgraded the RAM, it has 32 gigs of RAM. I upgraded the graphics card and I started editing a video on it last night. And to be honest, I was a little bit disappointed at how chuggy the machine was. It got really hot, my frames weren't rendering in Final Cut Pro, and for the amount of money and the amount that I built this thing up, I was pretty disappointed with this performance. Now, I, again, don't know much about the tech side of it, I only know my user experience side of it, and I just, I feel like it should have delivered more, so I'm really not sad that I'm returning it, and I'm super excited for this new MacBook Pro, because I'm hoping it's gonna be better on the performance side of things. So I'm actually gonna go through and use the new MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip and edit this video. And I'll add in a little clip at the end of how I kind of thought the editing process went on it. And again, I'm used to editing on this 2015 iMac that I have. So I'm used to kind of the chuggish slowness of older machines. So I'm really excited to see what this new beautiful baby can do. Definitely gonna upset a few people here, but we are definitely sticking with light mode. You guys, it's a whole aesthetic. We gotta do it. I'm just gonna set up the MacBook and load on all my programs. I have to add the Adobe Suite, of course, for my graphic design. I've gotta add Final Cut Pro. I also use Microsoft Office. I have never really gotten into Pages and Keynote, um, but that's fine. I'll stick with Microsoft Office and then we will edit a video and see how it goes. We are running the new Mac OS Monterey, which is exciting. And of course we have 32 gigs of the unified memory and the Apple M1 Max chip. So I am super, super jacked about that. I also wanted to take a minute just to quickly go over some of my accessories that I use with my MacBook when I'm sitting at my desk. So the first one is this really cute pink, it's like a dusty rose cord bag, so. I just got this off Amazon, I'll link it in the description. Um, it basically just, you can organize all your cords. I left work in a hurry, so I just chucked those cords in there so I could go pick up my new computer. This cord holder makes a whole big difference, especially when you're commuting with your laptop. Being able to have all your stuff organized in one neat little package instead of digging through your bag, super life changer, highly recommend it. Another accessory that I love to use at my desk are these cute little pink cord organizers. So basically they just have a pull and peel sticky back that you can stick on your desk and it just organizes all the cords that you have running up on top of your desk. These are super cute. The other accessory that I love to use when I'm at my desk working on my computer is this little cell phone stand. So I'm filming on my phone so I can't really show you, but you basically set your phone in it and you can angle it and you can see. I find this is really handy, especially if I'm on my gaming computer, for example, and I'm FaceTiming with my brother, I can just set them on the stand and it works quite well. You can definitely tell if you haven't seen my decluttering my closet video. Obviously you guys, we got a whole aesthetic. I love the color pink. I, it's pink, black, white, and denim is basically all you'll find me in and it's basically all of my accessories too. And then one more thing, of course, is my trusty daily water intake bottle. I always have this guy on my desk with me. Super handy, helpful find on Amazon. I find it really helps me get my water in for the day. And it's made such a difference just having it on your desk. And I find the straw too. It just makes it so easy to get your water in. So I'll also link to this guy down in the description if you want to get one for yourself. 
Interestingly enough, to install Creative Cloud, I had to install something called Rosetta to make Adobe work with the new Apple chips. So that's a fun FYI. Another thing that I've noticed as I have been sitting here getting everything set up is the whole computer just feels so much more polished. The operating system and just the whole user interface of the apps that are opening and the rounded edges, everything just seems more cohesive, which I didn't think was possible with an Apple product because it's already pretty good. But I don't know, I just, I like the experience. It feels, it feels so nice. And I can't quite pinpoint exactly what's different, but it feels really nice. So still in the process of setting everything up, but quickly wanted to shout out TubeBuddy. If you guys don't use TubeBuddy yet for your YouTube channels, you should definitely check it out. I'm gonna put my affiliate link in the description down below. It's just really helpful to figure out keywords and really just pay attention to some of the behind the scenes stuff for your YouTube channel. I actually think that TubeBuddy is the reason why these two videos actually broke 100 views, which was really exciting for me, but I went through and reviewed everything on TubeBuddy and enhanced what they told me to, and then all of a sudden I started getting found in search, and yeah, more than 200 views for me is pretty huge, pretty proud of it. So check out the link in the description. Alrighty, it is midnight. I'm still editing away over here, and oh my goodness, this MacBook is, I just, it is so quiet. Like, it's so quiet. I wish I recorded how loud the laptop was last night when I was editing a video because it was obnoxiously loud. It was so hot on my legs. This has sat on my legs all night. I've been editing probably for like four hours now and it's it's not even hot. It's not not even close to hot and it's so quiet. The other really great thing is while actually editing, there was no sluggishness, there was no dropped frames. I've been able to edit everything super great. Importing the footage from the iPhone was really, really easy. I just used AirDrop and then you just have to add an effect to kind of uh, fix the brightness of the footage, but that was a super simple process. And yeah, overall, I am obsessed. This is the nicest MacBook I have ever used, let alone owned. I, I'm super, super excited. I'm so, so happy with this purchase. I think it's gonna be so much fun to keep chugging away at all of our creative adventures that we're doing right now. So anyways, hopefully this was really helpful. I'm sure there are some other tech YouTubers out there who can give you all of the specs. This is just the 16 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip, 32 gigs of unified, memory and I just got the one terabyte solid state drive because I just wanted to be able to pick it up in store I didn't want it to have to get shipped but I think that'll be good enough I have yet to kind of go over that and I use external hard drives anyways so I think that'll be great overall I would give this like a million out of ten I'm so happy I'm so happy the MagSafe charger is back just everything about it is beautiful let me know if you guys have gotten a new MacBook let me know what you think I would love to hear it all in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next video bye